Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of that, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup of flows. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Juma Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. And welcome to Johnny's Bite. Three weeks ago, I had occasion to um, talk about the situation. And today I'm just going to be playing back videos for you because we know what the present circumstances are. So I just want to remind our leaders of one, one or two things. But three weeks ago, because we spoke about this on Johnny's Bite, I told you about the, a bridge around the Saki Bediaku area. And I told you how this bridge is becoming a problem for the people. I called and greeted the MCE. I called and greeted the assemblymen in the area. I called and greeted the contractor on the road. I called and greeted all the people who have what it takes to fix this road. Well, two, three weeks ago, no, I think it was 31st of May. This was the road. This was what I spoke about. And I mentioned how difficult it was for the people in that area, the Saki Bediakum area, um, you know, how they found it difficult sometimes to navigate. I remember vividly, and I showed this video. Well, it rained. And there's a, a sudden Newton on Facebook who had put um, something on, on his, um, what do you call it, his Facebook page. And he played me Newton's video. This school bus was conveying these kids. If you can see them, they just where they are now. These kids were in this school bus. And look at where it got stuck. I'm not paying for the people in the community. Look, look at what is happening. What is happening now? What, 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 what a shame. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. These kids were in this, were they were in this car from school to home, and then look, had it not been for the area guys who came to rescue them from this car, what would have happened to these kids? This is shameful. Look at the bridge, children. I want to see them, put them on the screen, and forgive me if your child is part of it, but sorry about that. This is their reality, these are the children. You see the people I called out to, the MC, the assemblyman, the, what do you call it, all those people, like the MP, everybody I called out to, the roads minister. Their children are not part of this, oh, possibly. If their children were part of it, they wouldn't have watched for it to happen like that. Their children are not part, so they take decisions, or they decide not to take decisions because their children are not part of this. These are the mob rower people. But you know what, Mr. MC, Mr. DC, their parents pay you property rate for the houses they live in. Whether they are tenants or landlords, they contribute to pay property rate. They run their small, small container shops. They pay you business operation permit. You collect the money with a smile. Those whose mothers or fathers work in the market, do you go and collect your market tolls? These are the children. I'm asking, I keep asking, what kind of patriotism can you demand from children like this if every, every time it rains, they have to go through this? It took the uh, good Samaritans in the area to save them. And he showed me the vehicle. This is the vehicle that was taking them to school. 
And I, I spoke about this bridge. I spoke about it on the 31st of May. We have not done this bridge. We are thinking of the priority of priorities, the National Cathedral. 25 million could have fixed this bridge. In fact, less, 1 million. Maybe less. It can fix this bridge. But we don't care about the people. We, we just don't care about the people. We don't care. We don't give a hoot about the people. The people can die for all we care. For our selfish reasons. The people can die. Look at it. The taxpayers. The taxpayers. Look at how they are suffering. They walk to work and then they swim back home. The taxpayers, they walk to work and then they swim back home. They are literally swimming to their houses. We don't know whether their houses are, are, are either flooded or not. But this is how dangerously the people around the Saki, Bediaku area, citizens of this country, this is how they go through this with their children who nearly drowned. And I spoke about this on the 31st of May. We are now asking for money. We, see, sometimes I think that we are not fully created. God didn't finish creating us. Sometimes I think so. Because if God finished really creating us in full and put brains inside our heads and put our heads on the top of our necks and we have empathy and sympathy, we won't be seeing some of these things. We don't have our priorities right. As if lying on the floor to learn Sitting on cement blocks to learn is not enough. This is what people have to endure. Then he showed me the children again. If you don't care about the adults, think about the children. And whether or not if you had your child seated in that bus, that oven, if you had your child as part of this, these set of children, forgive me if your child is among it, but that is the reality. It could have been worse. Do we have our priorities right? So I'm calling on the MCE for that area one more time. Saki Bediaku, I'm calling on you. Enough of the honorable, 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 yomo, yomo. Oh, we are tired of it. Go and fix the get up, go, go and take your bath and go and fix the, the, the road. Mr. Rose Minister, good morning to you. Get up, take your bath and go and fix the road. You are, you are an assembly man. You go for assembly meetings, unit committee, one, one, all of those. When you go for those meetings, what do you discuss? Get up, take your bath, and go and fix the road. Get up, get up, take your bath, go and fix the road. Why do you people behave like that? You collect the position, you chop the salary, you chop the allowances, you chop the per diem, you enjoy the largesse that comes to the office. But when it comes to doing the work, this was how it was when I reported on it on the 31st of May. Play the video, Frandi, play my video for them. Bad roads, Saki, Bediakun, Pong Katamanso. So the MC, good morning to you. We had to wait for nine months to get you to be in charge of the area. And there, something must show that there are people there who are working. Have you spoken about it? Have you told the roads minister about it? Because your people are not, they are not happy. They are suffering. When it rains, this was after the rains. When it rains, it's, it's dangerous. When it rains, it's dangerous. And this is in the greater Accra region. So I have, I have given you notice. I'm just pointing you to where the work is. So please go and do the work. It's important that you do it. I, I, I don't want to imagine that you drive on these same bad roads and this same situation to go and ask people to pay property rates. They won't, they won't go and do the work, oh. but they will be telling themselves that I'm insulting them. Why is the insult? I just pointed you, because you, you, you are supposed to have seen this and fixed it. You have not seen it. I pointed you to it. You have not fixed the work. But when I come and talk about it, they say, I am insulting you. If you know you are an already made man or woman, you have everything. politics, Stay at home. Stay in your house. If you know you are an already made man or woman, and you had everything before, and you cannot take questions and criticisms, stay at home. 
manage your private sector business. Don't come into public sector. Because if you come into public sector, we'll ask you questions. Go and fix the road. Go take your bath and fix the road. Danny, the fuel prices have gone up again. 